Hi everyone, this is Lori, and I'm going to show you my favorite way of applying jamboree nails. I'm going to apply them cold, actually, so I'm not going to heat them before I put them on my nail. I'm going to heat them after. And I'm also going to use a Ziploc bag with heat to seal the edges. So that's what works best for me. Um, so no matter what, no matter how you apply them, prepping your nails is extremely important. So to prep my nails, I'm going to first push back my cuticles with the cuticle pusher. Um, this is the one that comes in the Jamberry application kit. It's pretty awesome. It's very gentle on your nails. So I've applied all of my nails besides my pinky. So that's what I'm going to show you right now. So I'm going to push back all my cuticles. And if you have invisible cuticles, like some of the skin coming actually out onto your nail, I would recommend using a metal cuticle pusher because that really is what can scrape them away. So, after I've done that, I'm going to buff my nails with a nail buffer. This also comes in the Jamboree application kit, but you can use any kind. I find that this just um, makes a good surface for the wrap to stick to, and it smooths your nail out a little bit. And once you've done that, it's really important to clean your nail. I have a rubbing alcohol wipe, which kind of dried out, so I'll put a little more on it. I've also heard that vinegar works really well. So whatever you do, make sure you have a really clean nail, otherwise um, the wraps won't stick if your nail's oily. So now basically my nail is prepped and ready for application. So if my husband, who's awesome and is videotaping, come around so you can see this a little better. I think it's easier to see it as if you were actually doing it. So. All right, so before you would really get started, typically you'd want to hold up the wraps to your fingers to figure out what sizes you all need. So the smallest one is what fits most people's pinkies, but my nails are pretty large, so I use the second one for my pinky, and then I use these actually on my little toes. So whatever you wanna do, do not touch the back of the wrap, the adhesive side, with your fingers, your oily fingers, because um, that's just not going to allow them to stick as well. So I use my tweezers to handle them, and that may feel a little awkward at first, but you'll get used to it. So I just pick them up. I can touch the very bottom with my fingers because that won't actually touch my nail. All right, so basically I'm ready to go. Typically you would heat it now, but I'm applying them cold because it works better for me. So I go ahead and stick it on my nail. And this way too, since it's not heated and the adhesive hasn't kicked in, you can move it around a little bit to make sure you have it perfectly centered on your nail. There we go. All right, so before I heat it or anything, I'm going to press down using my finger from the cuticle to the tip in the center, just like that. All right. Now, because the cuticle pusher can get to the edges better than my finger can, I'm going to press it down like so. You need to use a lot of pressure to make sure you really get it all down. All right. This is probably hard to see. All right, so it looks really good. Obviously, I have a lot hanging off. If you have really long nails or if you have acrylics, you wouldn't cut as much off as I do, but I don't need that, so I'm going to trim it off. Some people that have really short nails could actually save this and use it for another application. Probably wouldn't fit any of mine. Maybe some of my toes, though, so I'll go ahead and keep that. All right, so this is still too long. Obviously, it doesn't look good, so I'm going to clip the rest off. Um, some people use a file in a downward motion, but since my nails aren't that long, I would basically just be filing my finger off, so I use a clippers. And it is totally fine to clip part of your nail with it. That's what I do all the time. So I don't recommend clipping your nails beforehand. And because it's sticky, it sticks in there, so just use your tweezers. Okay. You can do it as much as you need to to get your nails looking the way that you'd like. 
Alright, so I've applied them and I'm not done yet because for the adhesive to kick in you need pressure and heat. So what I'm going to do to really seal it is use a Ziploc bag. I'm going to wrap it really tightly, just like that, and then put it in front of heat. This is my awesome Jamberry mini heater. I love it. I think it works the best just because it's, you know, it puts out a lot of heat in one small concentrated area and it's quiet. So if I were using my blow dryer, I would not be able to be talking to you guys right now. So when I apply my jams, I can have a conversation with my hub husband, I can watch TV, I can do whatever I want. All right. You don't have to burn yourself by any means. Make sure you get a good amount of heat on it. Now I'm also, just to make sure that I have all the edges sealed, that was really good for my tips, but I'm also going to use a cuticle pusher again, just to make sure everything's pressed down by the cuticles. And I have a perfect manicure. So basically, I like that method better. Um, just because I have a little bit of curve to my nails, like this. Um, and if I apply it the other way, like if you watched the official Jamberry Nails application video that I showed earlier, um, they heat it and then apply it. I find that I get a little bit of um, creasing going on after a couple of days just because my nails are curved. Um, but like this, it really works out better for me and it stays perfect. So. Um, maybe if you're new to Jamberry, try one way or the other on half of your nails and see what works best for you. So, I definitely, no matter what way you do, definitely seal it with a Ziploc bag. Alright, thanks for watching.